Workers at the Rhode Island School of Design began an open-ended strike this morning. The union says it's in response to RISD's failure to negotiate with workers. The open-ended strike comes two weeks after an initial one-day strike. Dana Casulo spoke with union members and has the response from school officials. Well, staff members here at RISD say they will not stop until they start to see change happen, and they don't care how long that will take. Custodians, groundskeepers, and movers at RISD are back on strike. Local 251 has filed unfair labor practices charges against RISD for failing to pay a general wage increase and changing starting rates for workers without providing them with notice or an opportunity to bargain. It don't give us no answers, it don't give us race, it don't give us anything. For the last several months, workers have been fighting to secure their first contract at the college while claiming RISD has not bargained in good faith. It's very hard because uh, I live by myself, I don't need to pay my bills, my mortgage, my insurance, and my health, mm -hmm. because I have a lot of problems, health problems. We have been uh, like struggling how to survive with the pay we get, uh, what we get. I've been here for more than 20 years, almost 21 years, and then I don't get paid even more than $18 an hour. Most recently, the Teamsters say RISD ignored the workers' proposed contract from March 18th. We just want to get back to the table to negotiate. Ahead of today's strike, the school issued a statement Sunday night, which reads in part, After months of negotiations, RISD presented union leaders with the best and final offer that provides members with pay increases and a strong benefits package. The response we did receive was a clear indication the union was unwilling to have productive discussions about wages and benefits. The school went on to say we respect our workers right to strike, but it will not resolve this matter. In Providence, Dana Casulo, 12 News.